In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the next type of constraint, the insert constraint, and it is the last type in the constraint menu. We will cover the mid, angle, tangent, and the last one, insert, and it's called concentric relation in other software. So let's click on the insert. And as you see in the picture, it can make opposite direction or inside that cylinder. So it create a cylindrical relations. So now if you choose that cylinder, you'll notice that axis is shown and have and this cylinder have its axis. So if you select that part and that part so you will get uh, so let's select this cylinder and this cylinder so you get a concentric relation between those two and if you make the opposite you will make them align so make it opposite and here you are able to add an offset but I don't want to make this constraint now so just the cancel so let's move into position here now we are going to make a concentric relation between the connector and the holes so constraint insert select this so you can reverse the direction and apply again select apply there's no need to close that menu apply and the last connector So now we have all the connector in a place. So now we need only to constraint to make this simply fully defined. So let's go to constraint, make this insert between this and one of the hole here. So you have that connector in place apply. So as you notice here, this part is rotating freely around that selected connector. So you have an option to add the last constraint you can try the tangent and also the insert let's try the insert click this cylinder and this cylinder apply so now you have your part is fully constrained let's click cancel and try the tangent as well you can select this part this part make it inside tangent okay so now you have your part fully defined 